another stunning and interesting episode of Spotlink, our sport talk show where we talk about the topical sporting highlights. The main aim is to bring to light the various sporting activities and events in the Gambia and around the world. On the newscast today, we would be talking about an exciting sport news as the South African Olympic and Paralympic athletes Oscar Pistorius has finally been released nearly a year after being jailed for killing his girlfriend. Stay tuned to our interesting and educative interview as we will be bringing you a legendary, the first black to have played professionally in Denmark. And the viewpoint, of course, we will be talking about the way forward for the Dalit Scorpion of the Gambia. These and many more coming up in the next 15 minutes. Stay tuned. I am your presenter, Sira Chow. Thank you very much for watching and welcome to the news segment and we begin with news that Nigeria striker Emmanuel Emenike has retired from international football. The 28 year old who plays for Alain of Dubai has not scored for the Super Eagles since October 2013. Emenike posted a message to fans on Instagram saying, I am no longer a Super Eagles player. It has always been my pleasure to play and win for the team. I am proud of my successful years with the team and I am pleased to call it off at this point in order to avoid insults. Eminike is the second player to announce his retirement from Nigeria's senior squad this month following lead goalkeeper Vincent Ayima, Nigeria's most capped player who quit after a much publicized row with coach Sundo Alisa. Elsewhere, World Football's governing body FIFA has confirmed it will hold the election for its next president at a special congress on 26 February. The election will determine who will succeed Seb Blatter, who has been president since 1998. Blatter, 79, and Vice President Michel Platini have both been suspended for 90 days amid corruption allegations, which both men deny. Platini is seeking the next presidency as his Prince Ali bin Al Hussein. Frenchman Platini, president of European football's governing body UEFA, submitted his candidacy papers earlier this month, but FIFA says it cannot recognize his candidacy while his ban is in place and he cannot campaign. However, FIFA's electoral committee says it may allow him to stand if his suspension ends before the election day. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa of Bahrain is expected to contest the election. Former Trinidad and Tobago midfielder David Nakhdi said he will stand while ex tottenham defender Ramon Vega is considering doing likewise. And finally, South African Olympic and Paralympic athlete Oscar Pistorius has been released under house arrest nearly one year after he was jailed for killing his girlfriend. He is expected to spend the remainder of a five-year prison sentence at his uncle's off-market home in Pretoria. He shot River Steenkamp through a locked bathroom door in 2013 but said he thought she was an intruder. Miss Steenkamp's relatives said they think Pistorius is getting off lightly. Pistorius, 28, was found guilty of culpable homicide or manslaughter of his 29-year-old girlfriend at a trial in October last year. A case lodged by the prosecution appealing against the decision is due to be heard by the Supreme Court of Appeal on November 3rd. Assalamu alaikum, uncle. Alaikum Welcome to the program. I'm going to go to Santa. I'm going to go to Yo pour interview ma pour ham suma jar jar ci suma football carrière be fi ma retire ko dere moy pour light la mo nga ñewé brief history of sa footballing carrière bala nga né ka professionnel le team bi mo jëka duga moy black star ham nga jamono jojju team bu mag bu nekk fo ci so nekk dafa am second division team then white phantoms commit sadon sen second team augustinians yang amon young lions no sen second team police ga am police bi yo yeb dañ amon sen second team turi biri biri bi naka la ñewé turi biri biri bi suma serigne dara momako tudé way du biri 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 réglama tudé biri waaw kon benen biri bi fum joggé ha benen biri bi sénégal la joggé sénégal ok dañ demone play ji festival mondial that was in 65 mm hmm ñu dem play ji festival mondial against sénégal mm hmm xam nga time bobu da nga ñew la ca sa force 11 bi ci ko defé ñu jox la tour ñepp tour ñepp bi ñepp biri Alu dem, woyu nyuwa <hesitation> chima nai ba muna ko biri, muda biri biri, nyuwa la biri 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 
Je ne sais pas si je suis en Sénégal. Je ne sais pas si je suis en Sénégal. Je ne sais pas si je suis en Sénégal. Je ne sais pas si je suis en Sénégal. Je ne sais pas si je suis en Sénégal. Je ne sais pas si je suis en Sénégal. Je ne sais pas si je suis en Sénégal. Je ne sais pas si je suis en Sénégal. Je ne sais pas si je suis en parce que euh, bima dor nonu augustinians euh, mo walidana mujje ok why play na black diamond mm -hmm. uh, black star mm -hmm. egal ma black diamond ok ma play white phantom mm -hmm. me pare play arans arans ok because arans dey ma offer won liye ok bu ma play liye dey bo nek ton halis way liye yo waaw dey ma don jom liye may liye mare ngay play football dem ah port no dey mare na won Time bo wu one like Usman Silla. Okay. Augustinians na walidan. No player si ma admire one da. Player si nga ham. Player si ma ne so 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 ne ne kisi mi feel dan ne content for player ni yon balanga lon dem player professional. No bo 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 ham ga magnila yo da team bo ne kare magnila nga ya kam pe player yo. Wow wow na respect. Wow so lo la wo ni yon ni plan pasi ya la da ba de phone. Position si yep la dan pi. Yep nga lan pi. Bima, bima dore. Ok. My greatest achievement in football, moi bima egale si vidya first division. Moi ad miwa neke Senegal, te kata Senegal, nyom eight score goal. Kila nyma koe biri biri pele gamye. So my worst moment bi moi, bimi binyo gini jo he five non bi in Dakar. Ah, Civil Ligel, moi je suis ma best European team. <laughs> Martin Olsen et uh, 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 Pablo Blanco. Super. Je vais essayer de faire parce que Civil Ligel m'a fait de la vie. Biri, 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 va. Este moreno, jugaba en Civil Ligel. Ni mana nak advise dal moy neng gomsen bapa new up player binga amne dap dia amnya rehel sudu gaji filmi kau kudu muna dap darah player binga amne stor kau Daniel wane ne ya kau dah ha football kau kula ni ya kau ne di neng muna new up. Why you orang yang balu jangan? Hahaha. Mereka mana dah ada mahu bawa semua dua weekend mah? Bepare rauma. Le palo hamne def na ko ñu def lu opa lolu mom la ñaanal suba doom Thank you very much for watching and welcome to this week's edition of uh, Viewpoint Viewpoint is a segment on Sports Link that is created to discuss some topical sporting issues and highlights and I am Modlem Mbi and uh, on the platform today I'm sharing it with uh, Mr. Uthman Jeng and uh, Ms. Sirachal. Welcome to the program guys. Thank you. And uh, the topic of discussion today will be, you know, what's the way forward in uh, Gammon Football because I'm sure you all remember our last episode uh, where we had uh, Mr. Momodu Gajaga as a guest. We were discussing on the Gambia's dismal performance against Namibia in the World Cup qualifiers which led to the country's exit in that particular competition. And uh, today, our main focus will be what's the way forward? What should Gambia do to see that you know we have qualified to the Nations or the World Cup? And uh, another topic we'll be discussing also is uh, the 2015 edition of the Super Nova Time. But before that, um, let's open the discussion panel here and ask Mr. Utman Jeng, what does it make out of Gambia's um, exit in the World Cup qualifiers? Well, thank you very much, Pia. It was very disheartening when Gambia exited the World Cup qualifiers because all we expected was that we would uh, put up a very good performance and see for the first time that Gambia would qualify, at least for the um, qualifiers proper. But man proposes, God disposes. And uh, then the main um, question, what do you think is the way forward? What do you think the federation, the coach or the, the players should do to see that the country qualifies to its first ever Nations or World Cup competition? You know, the way forward is very vast because people take one aspect of it and that's the putting the blame on the coach, you understand? But one thing we must understand as a country is that 
we are building up a team. You know, you cannot compare yourself. If a country is building up a team, I think the people need to be a bit patient, you understand, for um, the course to take place. You patient understand? for how many years? That's not the point here. The point here is how long, what efforts have you put in place to build a very good team? That is one bit. The FA has to play a very critical role in um, the way forward. Because, you know, for instance, look at our league. Even the local Navetan grounds are more crowd pulling than the league. What's the cause of that? How best is the FA selling the, the league so as to attract spectators? You understand? So that is one bit of it. And then the coach, I think we need to look for a better coach, you understand? Because okay, Utman, I, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm afraid I have to cut it there because it's not our job to talk about the coaches. No, it is not our right job now. to talk, yeah, talk but about coaches. Uh, well, you know, let's uh, bring in Sira. Sira yeah, you Utman, you've made a very relevant point out there. But then here, if I think, or I believe, the problem is not with the coach. You see, management plays a very important role because if you were to see earlier on, we fired a coach previous to this coach okay why was Paul it because Paul, yeah. because it was the, the team was not performing well mm. one thing we should understand or the what the gambian people believe is a short term plan and and when you believe in short term plans trust me it does not work it won't only, be short, only, only for a short period mm. so basically we should look for a long term plan and what's also, a long term plan well we should organize things like we can do certain things and not expect for the result to come out very soon. So basically, as Utman said, the team is a winning team. So we want them to qualify now when actually we've not planned scenes. So basically, it cannot work that like one. that. You want to chip in? Yes, like she said, you know, because that is, that is the main problem that is affecting our football. You understand? It is hard to say, but that's the hard fact. You know, for instance, me as a Gambian, what I would have loved to see is who have to see Gambians playing in the best leagues in the world. You understand? That is one bit of it that would bring us a very good team. You understand? But one thing also, if we have a very good league that is very viable, you understand? We can groom players from the grassroots. Okay. Obviously, I believe that the uh, grass, grassroots uh, football has to take precedence in this case in order for okay, us I to make... That's a, you know, Osman has said it, Sira has said it. What's your view? You know, what do you think? You watching out there, do let us know. And uh, the final topic of discussion here will be on the 2015 edition of the Super Now Time, you know, which is uh, kicking off on Sunday, on the 25th of October 2015. Utman, you think you know the commencement of this zone of Super Now Time? It's a bit late than earlier plan. Yeah, because it is very late, um, as we all know, because it was supposed to kickstart early part of October. Yeah. What led to the sifting of the tournament up till next week, this week Sunday, that is one that is one problem. It remains to be known. It, 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 it remains to be known. Okay, but well then speculations, speculations okay. have it that you understand up till as we speak, you understand there is no sponsor to the league. You know, and you cannot play a tournament without okay. main sponsors. Okay, that's, and that's, uh, that's, that's one um, problem that we have. You okay, well the fixtures are already released and uh, Serikuna East will be opening the competition with Banjul at the Serokuna East Mini Stadium on um, Sunday. Mm. You know, they are in Group A alongside uh, BEM and uh, Serokuna West, Brikama and Sukuta. Whereas Group B consists of uh, Serokuna Central, Lamen, Gunjur, Brufut, uh, Bakau and Manjai. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'm sure you all will be watching the competition and be following it kingly. Make sure you stay tuned for this particular program as we'll be giving you updates and uh, possibly covering some games. But I have been Model MBA. Thank you very much to um, Utman Cheng, Mr. Rachor, and thank you, viewer, for watching. Welcome back and thank you once again for being with us throughout. Well, that's all the time we had on this week's episode. But you can surely join us again next week as we keep on taking you deep into the world of sports. On behalf of the entire Sportling crew, have a smiling Saturday. Until I come your way again next week, stay blessed.